Welcome to a new video. Today we'll be solving uh, 478b. It's basically one of the most difficult questions in the 478 uh, set of questions. Uh, so please pause the video, take your time reading the question, try to grasp the concept. In a nutshell, it's basically n participants and m teams. Um, they're basically divided randomly into m teams. And in, in each team, members from the same team become friends. And we are basically getting the maximum and minimum number of pairs. Uh, however, we have to account for large numbers, so we'll be using a long, long data structure. Um, and we have three examples. I guess this is giving up n times n minus 1 over 2 equation in one of these. I suspect it's the maximum, of course. Uh, minimum should not be that easy. And it's further explained. And actually, this is important piece of information that we'll be testing in the minimum number of friendships for oh, okay for the maximum number of friendships will be testing for uh, the minimum number of people in each and every team and one team would have the maximum number of possible participants in the team so I guess I got an, an initial idea of what I'm supposed to be doing so let's jump ahead and code it right away I'll be using C++ as always you can choose your own language uh, you can write in Java you can write in uh, See, it's totally up to you. However, I'll be writing in C++. So, since we got the inputs, let's do K okay, um, max, which would be N minus M plus 1. That's the number of maximum people um, in one team after each other team has been assigned one member so for example remember that 6-3 uh, remember that 6-3 example so 6 minus 3 plus 1 that's a 4 which is 4 people on one uh, team and one on each and every other team so when we got this we have to do k max times k max minus 1 over 2 uh, that's the most commonly used formula what am I doing so that's n times n minus 1 over 2 uh, if you took discrete mathematics you, you probably know that formula it's used to get the number of pairings one way pairings so if a is paired to b it's the same as b paired to a and this is why we divide by 2 and n times n minus one because if a is is a set of is in the set of uh, alphabetical uh, letters, uh, it can't it can't be paired with itself. So it's paired with other letters than a. So it's n times n minus one, and we have to divide by two because it's one-sided relationship. So now we are done with the maximum. I guess the k minimum would be a bit harder. So let me think about that. Mm. 
Okay. Uh, let's do it that way then. It would be n over m times n over m minus 1 over 2. That's a lot of parentheses. And n one times equal m minus n mod m to get rid of all the uniform uh, teams. So all possible pairings. Only uniform teams. Leftovers or remainders are left out to be handled later. Of course, the remainder is n mod m, so we're leaving that out for now. We'll be handling it next. So, this is the uniform uh, teams, which are, for example, when it's 6 and 3, uh, the teams that have 2. Uh, participants in each one of them will be handled right there I guess let me have a closer look okay seems good okay so now let's do the leftovers leftovers would be n over m plus 1 n over m plus 1 divided by 2 times n over m okay And then we'd have to basically uh, add them back to the k minimum. However, we would be multiplying by n mod m I guess then we'll be done. So let's put a space in there and see how everything we got. Let me have a closer look now. That's for leftovers only. Of course we should handle uh, when the remainder is zero. That is going to happen. Some test. Only then we'd have game n times equal m. Else we'd be doing everything else. Hmm. Okay. Let's test it with six and three for now. It never compiles. Yep, I was expecting that. So, apparently I had game n instead of game minimum. So, let's fix that. Actually, you know what? Let's just do it that way. I used to game in down there. Ah, man, come on. And we got the correct answer. Let's use 3, 2, and 5, 1. So we 
got the 1 1, let's use 5 1. We'll be expecting a 10 10. Copy the code to submit it and let's hit the submission button. C plus plus four seventy eight B and we're ready. Fire. Running on test two. Hopefully it would get accepted. Yep, that was accepted. Great. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos by other people and me. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and if you want us to solve a certain question Please leave the link down in the comments and we'll hopefully solve it and get back to you. Thank you